Hey everyone, this is Larry with Today I Feel Like. I love creating AI images, except some of the services out there can be very expensive. You have stuff like Midjourney and Dolly 3, and then you have all the other apps out there that will charge you monthly or weekly. It could just become very expensive. But this service will work on your computer or your phones, it is web-based and it's absolutely free. It's unfiltered, it gives you great results. So let's jump into it and here we go. All right, first things first, I'm gonna need a couple of uh, prompts to put in there. So I'm gonna go ahead, I wrote a couple out. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, copy that one there and then head over to this site. And this is it right here, it's called Perchance dot org forward slash ai dash text to dash uh text dash to dash image dash generator so um it's asking me to turn off my ad blocker i'm gonna go ahead and uh and turn it off for this site i'm gonna hit refresh and there we go all right now what we'll see here is a box to put in our prompt we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have a anti-description option in there, so you can put something in there if you want, sort of what uh, people in Stable Diffusion refer to as a, um, as a negative prompt. And then we are also going to have in here the art style. So there's gonna be a whole bunch of different art styles. There's paint, painted anime, casual, cinematic, digital painting, concept art, Disney characters, oh, just a whole bunch of stuff. Professional photo, there's just a lot a lot, and as you can see, a lot of different styles in here that you can use. So you can do all kinds of stuff. And as far as the shape of the image, you have portrait, square, and landscape. So there you go. All right, let's go ahead and just put in my, uh, my prompt right there. And you can also add in different styles. So you can add in like the Ghibli style, your name, Paprika, Hero, okay, all kinds of different stuff in there if you want. And you can add in, um, and the, and these will these will also change based off of what you've selected in the art style. So I'm going to go ahead and choose um, professional photo. And now when I do, you're going to see that it's going to change what I what the options that I have. So you'll see for shots, I'll have like extreme close up, low angle, high angle, aerial close up, portrait, macro, wide angle, all that good stuff. Over the shoulder, telephoto. I'm going to go ahead and choose portrait, and I can add a sort of a color to it. So if I want a vibe like vibrant, warm, cool, pastel, bright, muted, neon, dual tone, I'll choose, uh, I'm gonna choose vibrant. And then for effects, I'm gonna choose, uh, I'm gonna, you can have all these different options like rear projection, light leaks, bokeh, soft, fo soft uh, focus, tilt shift, golden hour, all kinds of great stuff. I'm gonna choose bokeh. And I'm just gonna go ahead, oops, I actually hit exit, I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna choose Boca right there. And uh, and now I'm gonna go ahead and click generate and see what we get. And I will tell you this, it's pretty doggone fast. All right, there we go. It's generating my images. You can see the box is already popping up there. It should just take a few seconds before you'll actually start seeing images. All right, and there we go. It generated the images and I have to say the images look pretty good except it didn't give me a Caucasian superhero, it only gave me an African-American one. Now, um, if you see a situation like this, what you can do is actually go ahead and just regenerate, or you can go ahead and mess with your prompt to make sure that you get uh, that you get what you want here. So, and you can always, if you don't like the look of this, you can change the style. So instead of going with professional photo, you can try something like um, like anime, or you can come down here like traditional Japanese or furry painted or cartoon. Let's just go with cartoon and hit generate and see what happens. And we can see there the images are popping up and uh, in this one it actually gave us one white and one black superhero there. So yeah, and if you wanna save them, you just simply, you just simply click on it and right click on it and hit save image as and you can save your image right there just that quick and easy. So. Yes, pretty pretty awesome. And you can decide how many images you wanna generate. So it defaults to six, but you can go ahead and choose nine or 12 or three. So let's say you wanna go with 12. And instead of cartoon, let's say we wanna go with cursed photo, whatever that is. <laughs> it looks like you can add a modifier. Um, 
I'm not really sure what this is, but let's go with, um, let's just click on grainy there and see what happens. And we'll go ahead and choose uh, generate. And it's going to give us 12 images now. And it's going to be a cursed, ooh, gosh, look at that. That is a little frightening there. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. That is a that is a little terrifying and uh and I don't particularly like that stuff. <laughs> but it's it's there for you. So now you could definitely get better images out of this thing than what I'm getting right now. You just kind of have to play with it and see what you want to get. And I'm gonna choose cartoon right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose instead of portrait, I'm gonna go with square. I don't need 12 images, so I'm just gonna dial it back to six there. And it's gonna, yeah, so that's, let's just go ahead and click generate and see what it's gonna give us when we, uh, when we do that. So yeah, very nice. So you can see there, it's still having some issues giving us both one black and one white person there. Uh, maybe because I put European, maybe I should put one person, uh, one African American, one white. Um, let's see, let's put one white woman and then let's go to let's try um let's try like a casual photo here let's try actually let's try cinematic let's see what happens if we do cinematic and we'll hit generate and we'll see what it's going to give us there yeah pretty nice all right this time it uh this time it definitely mixed it up a little bit better we ended up getting one two three four four different images with a white and a black person. So now you can obviously change this if you wanna change the poses or you wanna change their costumes. All you have to do is just change the prompt and you'll be able to get that. So I did a couple of more. I did. A, I wrote out a couple of more uh, prompts here. Let's just do a, uh, let's just try a different one here. And let's just put in, this is a man with a retro camera taking photos of a bright and colorful futuristic looking forest with cybernetic trees and a river. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna choose the shot as, uh, I'm gonna choose a wide angle shot for that one. For this, I'm gonna choose again, I'm gonna choose bright instead for the uh, for the effect. And then I'm gonna choose, um, I think I'm gonna leave this, I think I'm just gonna leave this defaulted and see what happens there. And then for genre, I can do all kinds of good stuff here. I'm just gonna go ahead and choose, I think I'll choose Epic Fantasy for that one. All right, let's go ahead and hit generate and see what we're gonna get for the man with a retro camera taking photos of a bright uh, and colorful futuristic looking forest. Um, not really much detail in there, it's sort of boring. That one's sort of boring. So let's do this, let's, let's try and spice it up a little bit. And let's go with a Disney 3D character <laughs> and see if that gives us something that's a little bit more fun. Yeah, it's okay. But you definitely see what's what's what is uh capable what this thing is capable of. You see, first of all, you can see it's very, very fast and allows you to create all kinds of cool stuff in here that you that you can um that you can do. I'm gonna change maybe do this. Let me change this wide angle. Oop, I think I had the wide angle on here. Let me change, let me take the wide angle shot. And if you add something in there, you don't like it, just go ahead and put your cursor in there and delete it. And then you can go ahead and you can regenerate and see what it gives you once you uh, have that uh, that part of it off. So yeah, kind of cool. That's kind of cool stuff right there. That's with the Disney 3D character. Let's try with anime and see what happens with anime. And this is one thing I like about this. Because this service is so fast, it doesn't take really any time to just regenerate a whole new set of images. And, and I'm just going to go ahead. Let's see what Studio Ghibli is going to give me there. We'll hit generate, see if it's going to give me something fun. Definitely a little bit better there. I definitely like the Studio Ghibli. So I didn't really like that prompt too much, but I have one more here. This one is a green and gold exotic sports car um, on, I went to, I meant to say on a lone desert road, not a, not like a, uh, <laughs> not like a bank loan, but by like a solitary desert road. So uh, let's go back into this and we are going to put in the new, uh, the new um, request there or uh, prompt. And we're gonna change this to professional photo we're going to leave it at square. We'll leave it at six. And our shot, we're going to leave, 
We're gonna leave our shot there, just the basic. We're gonna choose warm for the for our color, and we're gonna choose um, we're gonna choose light flare and see what that gives us. Let's go ahead and hit generate now and see what it's going to uh, what it's gonna do for our image. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It didn't now. It didn't show me like I wanted the uh, the gold wing doors open, and it didn't show me the gold wing doors open. And if you don't get exactly what you want, what you can do is come up here to the section that's that you're not getting, and put some of these brackets around it. That's one thing I've I've learned from Stable Diffusion. If you put some of these brackets around there, it will emphasize that that particular part of the prompt. So I'm going to go ahead and hit generate again and see if it helps then get the doors open. And yes, it did. Look at that. We were able to actually get uh, the doors open. <laughs> now this one looks like the doors look a little weird on that one. This one, the doors look a little bit better. This one definitely has a, a better look on there as well. So, and if you want to try a different sort of photo style, you can come in here and try like a 1970s uh, photo and click that and it'll give you sort of a old style look there and it's um it's not really it, i guess it's going to try and actually create a car that's reminiscent of that time and you know sometimes you'll see there it says fail and it starts to uh run through it again now you can also in here if you see something that you just kind of don't like you can just see the little uh it's sort of like the little arrows going that'll just sort of refresh that image and create a new image in just that one box there for you so but yeah, you can see there's all kinds of cool stuff in here you can do. You can create a 90s style photo. It should give us a 90s sort of era car in there. And uh, yeah, so there's all kinds of, of definite cool stuff you can do in this uh, with this website. And again, it's all absolutely 100% free. All right, everyone. Well, there you go. That is how you can have all the fun you want creating AI images absolutely free. It's unlimited. There's no sign up and it is really just a lot of fun. It is perchance.org. Again, that is perchance.org. I'll leave a link to it down in the video description so that you can check it out. I'll also leave a link to my uh, to my social media contacts and my Amazon page and all that stuff so you can see all the other products and services I reviewed over time. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.